the Biosphere 2 project was an attempt to miniaturize Biosphere 1, which was then the term for the Earth. In a way, Biosphere 2 is a model of Biosphere 1 on a miniature scale. A miniature life support system that then is supposed to be sent to Mars. Only 4,000 species, apart from humans, were let on board. And these 4,000 were casted and selected really according to very succinct, definite, functional characteristics of what they were supposed to do in these chains of pollination and plant growth and other features of ecosystem flows, with lots of technology to support these exchange processes and the climate under this glass dome. It did work in the sense that the people did not die or, well, they survived. The humans survived. From what we know, it was um, a pollination crisis that caused some of the harvest failures that they experienced, so that the humans had a hard time to, uh, to feed themselves. Um, on the other hand, it was um, the lack of oxygen that had to do with the, the plant growth and the, the self-sustaining capacity of this self-sustained, self-contained system, but it also had to do with the technological structure. Biosphere 2 relied very heavily on Biosphere 1 in the end. It couldn't do without that original Earth that was out there. Not all the species did survive, so that tells us something about maybe this, this hubris of being in control of these, these life cycles, energy, material, in an ecosystem. This um, ecosystem's perspective forces or requires a very functional view of what you need to put together to make an ecosystem. I'd say Biosphere 2 was a very specific arc that was, is, this, well, is the system's arc. We know that water, fresh water, isn't available to everyone in the same way. Um, but in that Mars colony, that really radicalizes a living on Mars shows so very uh, powerfully how things that are free on Earth can be very, very costly um, if put together in entirely new ways in some colony where everything is technologically supported and, and, uh, and nothing is there just because Earth provides it.